Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play, Metroid Zero Mission. We've got a mission to exterminate all Metroid organisms on the planet Zebus and defeat the mechanical life form Mother Brain. Let's begin! Uh, that's just my test file. Oops, uh, wrong button. I uh, will be playing on normal difficulty as we land. We'll get a little bit of text. Planet Zebus, I got this place home once in peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called Zero Mission, Samus Aran. Ah, uh, this game has some nice little cinematics and that for a Game Boy game. Get his first mothball. This is the first of many power ups. Now we can go through them. At the minute, uh, this is like the original game with the range of this weapon. It's very, very short range. So, uh, first things first, we're gonna go remedy that problem. I remember this place, uh, there's a secret there. Uh, these statues um, will point you in the general direction, but uh, they'll get more and more cryptic. They'll just uh, point to a blank space on the map later on, and uh, you have to figure out how to get there from where you are. But they also have the nice added effect of uh, restoring your health and your missiles and bombs later on. So that's pretty nice. There's a save room, let's make a hard save. Uh, first save of the game. Uh, let's just do a save state to back it up. Save state, state load. It's always good to have a backup. Okay, so we, we got to pro progress upwards, get rid of you. Now, the nice thing about this game of the original it doesn't start you on the stupidly low amount of health. It starts you at your max 99. I don't know why that was a thing in the original, unless it's like some programming error, but it's never been fixed. To start a game on less than maximum health just seems odd to me. Uh, we'll be going through there, there's, a, there's another passage here. But that's like a shortcut, but we need somewhere else to get through the last block. Alright, here's the room that was indicated. And there we go, first power up, long beam. Uh, like in every Metroid game, every beam modifier increases the damage output slightly of um, your main weapon. So if you're old L, you can aim up and down. Which is pretty nice. In diagonals. Uh, let's restore health. Now we can shoot across the screen. Yeah, that's it. We're not taking two hits now. Right, so we want to come up here. Right, we're gonna come over this way first. Um, out, get out the uh, acid. Come into this room because it's a sequence trigger. You won't be escaping this area. Uh, this game's very built for speedrunners. Jump over him and stand up here where you're safe so we can uh, fight him. Because he will kill you if you're down there. He does have a lot of health and he does a lot of damage to Samus. And we'll get his next team on where to go. So it wants us to go somewhere over there. So we've got us find the zone where they're basically the game's telling us now. But we'll find it soon enough. 
I'm sure you can turn these hints off. Uh, maybe on the end screen, but I ain't checked it out. So I'll uh, make his way back down. Now we can shoot his way through there. Uh, don't worry about the other. Now we've got enough range to fire through that. We've got a choice. We can't go through that door, so we don't have what we need. So let's go down. All the way down. Alright, uh, this room remains bearing some shaking. Don't worry about it. So, I want to come over here and get this missile. Now we can open that door up top. Now you want to start your health a little bit with them. Right, so stand in the middle. Ah, oh, I was just slightly off. Can't believe that. This guy takes three missiles to kill. And if you don't manage to kill him, he will run away. And we got him. And he'll drop uh, a new upgrade, the charge beam, another beam modifier. Uh, the nice thing about the charge beam, it works by powering up your main shot. So you can do like a bigger blast. Does a hell of a lot more damage than your standard beam. And the multiplier is just add on as you go in. So that's pretty nice. And I think it also gives the standard beam another multiplier of damage. Which is also good. Come in here, get a save. Uh, we burn that save. Go on. Now some of these uh, save rooms are first secrets hidden in the walls, so uh, keep on the lookout for anything that looks odd in the save room. Uh, the cha only changed it to one missile in this version, so that's pretty nice. Uh, these uh, annoying buzzer bugs up here. Uh, we'll make them disappear soon enough. Right, th there's three hives up here. There's one here. I'll take out this one first. And come this way, there's another hive. Yeah, these don't respawn really once you've uh, took them out. Oh, I'll get rid of them. That's hive two down. Then we get some more missiles. Oh! Oh, they have pain in the backside then. Got him. If you leave one hive, uh, all, all of these will regenerate, so you definitely want to take out this one before you leave this room. Once you've done that, these things won't bother you again. There we go. This room, room is now clean. We can progress. Alright, make sure I get some map coverage. Alright, uh, we can't do all with that just yet. If we shoot here, we'll find some more missiles. Now uh, we'll build these up pretty, pretty damn fast in missiles. If we come over here, we get another energy tank, so we've got double the health we had, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's continue. Oops. I jumped a little too early there. Uh, I will not be 100% in this game because I still have trouble with a few of the uh, Shine Spark puzzles. But I'll be doing the best I can. So you, you don't really need to 100% it to beat it. If we come down here, we'll get a map room. And it'll just fill in the map for us. Um, as you can see, uh, this area is quite big. 
So if I go to the map to move it around, and this is what we only can see because with this being Metroid, they are hidden areas to add to this as well. Off map locations is a staple of Metroid. Right, wanna pull through this room. Now we'll get another saving. Now we'll do another save state. It's good to have them as backups just in case I uh, mess up. You can see, we uh, can't go out with them blocks just yet. But we're about to remedy that problem. For this next power up, we're going to get bombs. So this will help us um, blast our way out and we gain access to the bomb jumping ability as well. Rest being more for bomb to set bombs. We might as well get a recharge while we're here. And uh, this room ain't given up on all its secrets yet. If we come through here, so it like sort of gives you a moth bomb jumping tutorial there. And with that, we can go back and get another energy tank from the beginning area of the game, which is pretty nice. And the game also is going to show you uh, some areas will lock the doors. So what you got to do is take out all the enemies. So it's put like these super non-threatening things in that can only be taken out with the bombs. Uh, we'll be able to use them later on as well. They're coming quite handy. There's no point going up there just yet. So I want to come back the way we came. We can start collecting uh, some power-ups. Press jump there. Come on, Sam, let's jump properly. Okay, we've made it through. Now uh, this room here, we can explore down here. Blast a hole in the floor. Uh, watch out for those uh, waivers. We come in here, we get another Chozo statue. It's going to show us where we need to go next. Or give us the general direction. So it wants us to go to the North Fair and uh, get to that point up there. Okay, thank you, statue. Right, this. Yeah, so this is like bomb jumping. Waivers. Emers and rippers and oh, all the classic Metroid enemies. There's so many of them. Yeah, you can actually carry them on you. If you get too many, they'll uh, start sucking your health. But uh, once you get the um, various suit, that no longer becomes a problem. As you can see, those insects have gone from this area for good, so don't harass you anymore. Now if we come over here, there's a hidden room. Whee! Right, you're supposed to have another ability to get this, but there's a way we can get it now. Like that. 
yeah the game really wants you to have um, grip but we don't have grip there we go and we're out we, we might as well uh, go get the um, energy tank now Uh, that one's very hard to get into. It needs some precise lateral bomb jumping. Right, here's the target. Right, we're gonna bounce off now. We need to do a bit more that way. I got all the way to the ceiling before. Come on, Samus. Seriously, still not lined up? There we go. We'll get an extra energy tank early. We're supposed to have like the hydro boots for that or something, but. And then we can grab it now, we'll grab it now. And if you play Super Metroid, there's an energy tank in the exact same place. So that's a, a nice little nod. Now let's save. Uh, and we'll head to North Fair before we uh, call it an episode. So we just need to go up, down and around. So we got quite a bit done on this first episode. 25 missiles, two energy tanks, not bad, moth ball bombs, moth ball, charge beam, and long beam. So, so Samus is a lot more capable than when we started. Let's watch the Ripper. Uh, Zoomers, I believe them ones are called, if, I, if I'm remembering right. Uh, we'll hit save on the way. Now, um, things I'm on about is like blocks like that. I'm always suspicious, like one odd block look at you. We're wrong. Well, obviously, there's no in this one, so let's continue. So we want to go back to the room where we fought the giant centipede thing. Uh, that can appear in the room above with, where we got the first energy tank from as well if you don't kill it here. And uh, if you don't kill it there it'll come back down here so it just alternates back and forth. So I want to put a bomb in that, clear the rubble and continue. Now if you want to stop them from spawning just leave a power up there. Don't the next one won't spawn until the power up's gone. So we're gonna go down into North Fair. And it seems we've awakened Mother Brain. Ooh, she don't look too happy. We're invading her territory. Sorry. Okay, so. We're gonna call it an episode here. Thank you for watching the first episode of Metroid Zero Mission and have a good day.